because let's face it, the waves are perfect, but it's in the eye of the beholder. It's still gnarly out there. You got to commit yourself to these big, heavy drops. You don't want to hit the reef out here. So being committed at pipeline is easier said than done. So I'll talk about committed. Straight from wow. the buzzer, Ethan Ewing. Nice one. Really deep there. Hey, there's still opportunity with Ethan having priority in this minute and a half remaining. Here, here he goes. He's having a swing. Needs a 7.94 for a spot in the quarterfinals. Ewing, big wrap to start. Hard off the bottom, belts it with a beautiful layback carve. Drives into the pocket again, a solid front side down carve, hack. And he'll drill that end section, three massive maneuvers. Tough sign for Billy and a good sign for Felipe Toledo. Here comes one of the best styles in the game, Ethan Ewing, straight up. Beautiful fan, such a great approach, hard off the bottom. Greases that lip line. And he's finally on the board at the halfway mark. To he for his amazing contribution to our sport. Ethan Ewing continues with the smooth rail work. Just no hurry, no rush, but precise at the oh. same time. Getting a little release in that slash, and he's going to back up his 7.5. All right, so back to the heats in the water. Seth Moniz with the advantage over Nat Young and Felipe Toledo checking out in the non-priority heat opening with a 5.33. Ethan Ewing in the barrel, traveling through, comes out, no problem. Ewing, long bottom turn and hooking combo. So barrel and a couple of turns for oh. the young man from North Stroud Oak Island, what a start. Jack Robinson won the event here in 2019. In that final, Ethan Ewing was also present. He got a third place. Here's Ethan Ewing and here's his dance at Sunset Beach. Starts off with a beautiful swoop back into the white water. The rail game, just incredible, on edge through that entire turn. Another snap, we got some variety going on as well on this ride for Ethan Ewing. Little bonus on the inside, and he pops the top and goes complete. Why not a little floating? <laughs> Semi-final number two, out in the water, and Ethan Ewing stroking into this wave. Ewing off the bottom, hooking turn off the top. Again, patient approach and fine rail work for the surfer from North Stradbroke Island. Ethan Ewing working his way down the line and punctuates the finish by throwing that layback bonus section on the inside here. Keeps board control through a difficult foam climb. Wave coming through here. Let's see what the scramble is. It's going to be Ethan Ewing with priority. Here we go. Ewing. Smooth bottom turn, arcing cut back right into the white water. Wave gets a little bit steeper on the inside, keeping his rails loose. Stab up in the lip for Ethan Ewing. And a gouge with a little punctuation on the end of that snap. Some power on display by Ethan Ewing. As we see a paddle now with a great looking set. We've got another wave opportunity behind for Lucas. We're gonna track with Ethan with priority, driving into that first turn. Off the bottom, onto the top, digging that rail in, nearly disappears in the foam. With a great face opening up in front of Ewing. Whips it around, and he's gonna have a great section to finish off on as he comes into the beach break. And he's gonna put um, you know, he's going through the motions with this event. He's certainly on. Yeah, Here he comes it. Ethan Ewing. Using priority. Big power carve. Pushing hard through the lip. He jams it again. Flowing down the line. Here comes Ewing's wrap. Looking to better a 5-3-3. And the man from Stratty is on a roll so far. Just looks great going straight down the line. Belts it. Whitewater section approaches and Ewing nails the finish. Looks like Ethan Ewing. He wants it. And driving into that first big turn for Ewing. Huge slash to kick things off. So much speed in that transition into the second turn. And just seamless into the third. It's got to be the fastest surfer we've seen out here today. Ducks back into the foam, and now he's lining it up through the inside section. Can he go even bigger than the scores he's already got on the board? He's just found that rhythm with the ocean today. He's connecting uh, with each of those waves rolling through. He cannot be knocked off his feet, Richie. Love it. 
Carroll, and then Oki uh, won in 98, and then it took a long time before we saw another backhand surfer win. And here we go, Ethan on the first wave of the quarterfinals, and straight into it. Big hammer there, drives up into the pocket. That's three solid turns on the bowl. And now whipping back and hoping this, this wave has the, the energy to get through to the inside. He doesn't want to know about it, though. He's out of there. The pulse in the uh, the energy, the swell lines, as we have a look at Ethan on the replay. Whoa, hopping over that uh, grindy little section around again, just slicing and filleting this wave to pieces. Another roundhouse hook right back up into the power source. And a fourth turn. Bangs it, comes through to the inside, finishes well. Represented there and to represent Italy. Rome, his home. And now to match up against Ethan Ewing. Beautiful opening carve. Second big turn and goes for that finish under the lip. <laughs> Kaya Belly has, has uh, oh, we'll come back to that in a minute. Here's Ethan Shannon. Live action with a powerful opening carve. Great. Snap for the second turn, working his way through to the inside, looking really connected to his equipment, feeling really relaxed as he rides through to this inside section. And he'll put the back up. And U Ewing's been working on being on the best waves of matchups. Looks like he's got a solid wall now. The Australian deep on this one. Now setting that bottom turn, going right to the lip. Beautiful frontside arc. Back to the open face, big whip in the pocket, punches the rebound. Nice and tight wrap and finishes with a fourth maneuver. Can he ride away? Yes, he does. Johnson, who set the pace early on with an 8.17 and found a 5.33 to back that up. Some movement here. Well, Ethan's he... got that priority and a good looking wall standing up, draws off the bottom, straight into a beautiful hook and drops back down. The face climbs back into the open water again. Goes to that rail and now looks to set up a huge finish. And absolutely drives a nail into the end section. Conditions too that are really tailor-made for Philippe to put on a show. But Nat Young just showing he really uh, deserves to be in the upper part of the ratings right now. As does this man and his rival in this heat. Ethan Ewing up against Kyle Belly here in heat number six. And Ethan's been solid all season. He's been dropping big scores and he's collected. Yeah, I would sprinkle in a little uh, peppering of Tom Curran in there as well uh, in terms of the style. And, and like to that. me, that's a, just a perfect combination. And let's see it in action now. Here we go, Ethan Ewing, a surfer from Stradbroke Island over there on the East Coast. The Queenslander driving through that first carve again. Just gliding through another beautiful rail turn. And he's been so strong with the big finishes throughout the contest so far and gets another one there. Trying to better a 7.6. But uh, even keeping Kayo off a high quality. For Pro GLAN opening round of competition getting started. Ethan Ewing wearing the red jersey, the top seed on a wall at Grodgen. And look at that big back backside hack to start. Throws down. The carve, slamming on the brakes, pulling into the cylinder. Ethan Ewing gets the exit. Driving back into the power source, belting it off the lip line. Ewing sneaks out of the end section. Got a little off tempo actually at the end of that wave and went down. Ethan Ewing right behind him, slicing through the, that on the DHD. Surfboard of choice for Ethan Ewing. Big snap there. Patient in his approach. Another big snap off the top. Hangs on the bottom before unleashing yet another carb. Whitewater, no problem for Ethan Ewing. And he's going to find multiple sections on this long running cobblestone point. Ewing with the finish and the completion. A low scoring affair in that one, too, in the round of 16. And that was Connor's best result of the year so far. Ended up in the semifinals. So a little bit of a rematch right here between both men. Priority Heat, and the leader right now is Ethan Ewing. Big snap to finish. Uh, and a s comes through that section, hook and turn for Ethan Ewing. Wow. One more time, really pushing the tail throughout this entire section. Showing some flow as he moves down the point at Punta Roca. Bangs that oncoming section, and you know what? 
The section pushes back. Eagle successful right on the cobbles here. And um, before he made a name for himself, we'll get back to that story because we got a replay here of the opener of Ethan Ewing. Bangs it off the top there. And of course, just the body mechanics and the overall uh, approach by Ethan Ewing. World champ Pete Mel and the 11-time world champion Kelly Slater. And we're going to see Ethan Ewing get things started first here. Having some kind of year, but still chasing that elusive first championship to a win. You'd have to like his chances here at Jeffreys Bay. He's got a nice clean wall standing up here. Big hook off the top. Nice power and acceleration out of that turn as he goes now to the layback jam. On his way to a very solid start here in the semis. And the conditions only improving here on finals day as Ethan takes this one way down the line. And it looks like it's going to line up for a bit more on this final section too as he drives up into the lip and hangs on to the finish. Kelly Slater, that was impressive. That's such good surfing. It's one of those cheap sections that do you see at Jeffries Bay where surfers look like they're kind of emerging and then they get that second section. That's what puts them deep. That's where the score comes. Meanwhile, your heat leader, the Australian Ethan Ewing, really nice setup turn on a bit of a meteor section for him. And this one's nice and steep here. And he'll just juice that one using the full arc of the rail. Covers so much ground with those turns on the rail. That one, more in the lips, kind of slicing back down. And just keeping that power. Another under the lip turn at full speed from Ethan Ewan. It's unbelievably polished and controlled. And he's still going down here. What's he got to finish with? Iron off a section. It's really steep on the inside. Goes nice and vertical. Takes on the lip and gets it done with control. Bit of a, an exchange unfolding it here at the moment in this final. A seesawing battle between Ethan Ewing and Jack Robinson and, and Ethan getting this one, Pete, during the interview. Yeah, this uh, four turns right here are solid as they come. Bigger wave, bigger section. This one here just tail taps, keeps that speed flying down the line into another beautiful arc. And then the finish, the big down carve. Feels like to me that this is going to be a number that's going to go into his top two. And if it's above the 7.67, he's going to cut into that lead. Matter of fact, if he gets the 8.1, he takes the lead. Beautiful arc there, pushing hard. Nice and clean, just the, the top to bottom. There was a couple double pump bottom turns, but oh, it's a passion. We like it. Ethan Ewing. It can come and feel like it's a west wind. Here we go, somebody. Important way for Ethan Today. Ewing needs a 5.61. Oh. We see that red wow. jersey pop out. Well, and he celebrates with his hand in the sky. World number three has not clinched his spot yet. Very crucial way for Ethan Ewing. That's a that's a big number. That's easy. That's easily the score. They've not wanted a piece of it really. So Ethan taking advantage a smaller wave here, but slides in and uh, almost goes too high, but gets his line right. <laughs> Rides over the foam ball there and gets the clean exit. So. A small wave, but longer, just threading the needle here. He was gone out of vision for quite some time.